Hello, I'm Bruce Lorenz, and this show is called Bruce on the Loose. I talk to people in city government, the school system, and businesses. We're here with John O'Leary, and the Wadsworth Music Store is in downtown Wadsworth on uh, College and Watrusa, I think. Yep, right, and yeah. how long have you had this store, John? Well, we I've been here since 97. Okay, um, wow. I, I, the original owner of the music store hired me in as a guitar teacher. Okay. And then uh, we took over ownership in uh, 2002. So we've been here, what, 22 <laughs> years, I think? Yeah. And your wife yeah. Uh, yeah, helped Susan, you uh, right. yeah. coordinate. She What, what yeah. role does she play? Um, she's uh, the business mind, okay. right? Yeah. Right. Which, right. Uh, yeah. When we got in here, I knew uh, a little bit about the the music uh, retailing. Right, um, right. I didn't know a whole lot about band instruments and uh, and that sort of the school rentals that came later. But uh, yeah, I was the guitar guy, so helped get the uh, the guitar selling, and then uh, she uh, added the numbers up, paid the bills, and <laughs> reordered product. Right. Yeah. Right. This this uh, is really yeah. impressive where we're at. I have yeah. to tell you, John, I can't believe yeah. the number of yeah. guitars here. Uh, yeah. Something for everyone's interest. I mean, you know, this guitar right here, mm -hmm. I, I I would think uh, a young lady would like that. It's kind of kind of glitzy well, and, well, and, and and really yeah. shines out there, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, I could see that. That's uh, that's more of an old Delta Blue style uh, Dobro. Okay. Uh, it's a resonator. As you can see, this uh, looks different than uh, say a regular guitar right there. And uh, this is uh, in the same family as this, but this is all metal, and that's a mixture of metal and wood on that mm -hmm. instrument. So, I would yeah. imagine that guitars then yeah. are, are your yeah. number one business and, and people come in yes. and, yeah. and want to maybe upgrade, mm -hmm. want to get into it as a hobby, or it maybe strings have, uh, have yeah. evaporated or whatever, and you repair those as well sometimes. Right, yeah, we do uh, general maintenance and uh, <laughs> as well as customized work. Uh, we've built guitars uh, from the ground up, um, uh -huh. some oddball instruments here and there that come in, accordions, which we don't work on, them, but <laughs> okay. we have done. On that. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. polka time again. We yeah, have a show on WCTV. Oh, yeah. Good, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they've done yeah. over uh, yeah. fifteen hundred shows. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh no yeah. question. That's one of our biggest yeah. shows on WCTV. Oh, what, excellent. Yeah. What, what What do you mean building it from the ground up? What What would okay. What would it take? for you okay. to, to well, build a guitar. Well, you, uh, you can do it at different levels. You can get gather all the parts. You know, there are companies that'll build a neck and a body and the electronics and right. you can go ahead and assemble it. That's uh, what we call a parts caster, right. uh, so to speak. Um, and so that, that comes off of Fender's name of their mm -hmm. most iconic guitar, the Stratocaster or the Telecaster. So yeah, you can get gather all the parts, but from the ground up is uh, what we consider getting the tree and turning it into an instrument. <laughs> wow. So, Unbelievable. so uh, we, we don't mill the tree, obviously, right, sure. but you can buy the woods that are uh, you know selected for guitar or instrument building, and then you can go from there. Uh, we've done uh, probably every kind of repair. Um, I've broken the neck on my own personal guitar, not once, but twice now. It's a 77 Gibson Les Paul, <laughs> which uh, it broke my heart when I broke it the first time. <laughs> I but, guess. But I learned how to repair that. Uh, the original luthier that was here with the store uh, taught me and got me on track on how to you know, start repairing guitars. And so I did that one with her. And then uh, this next one I'm going to do myself. But I've repaired probably a dozen broken headstocks on guitars. So. It's like a ball player breaking his bat, right? Yeah. I mean, it's really, it sounds really about the tough, same. tough yeah. situation. Yeah. That's, that was yeah. a right. really good to bat and really yeah. produced a lot, a lot of hits for me. Exactly. What yeah. about yeah. Uh, the when would uh, the youngest uh, person mm -hmm. come in mm -hmm. and want to start a hobby or uh, yeah. a vocation of playing guitar? What what? How how, how what's young? The age? Yeah. Uh, well, we we can start them off from uh, three and take them okay. all the way to one hundred and right? thirty three. <laughs> wow. so, yeah, well. yeah. If uh, if you wanted to start uh, your child off, uh, like say they're mm -hmm. you know three or four, and a lot of parents do that. You know, music has a lot of benefits for their their growth and uh, uh, learning. So we, we can start them at you know as soon as they're able to have an attention span on it. So that, and then generally it's maybe probably when they start reading and you mm -hmm. know right. they, they kind of have more of an interest. Uh, if they've uh, heard songs that they like and there's a, a reason <laughs> yeah, to do sure, it. Sure, know? sure, sure. So, Disney yeah. probably has helped out a lot with a lot of, oh, yeah. a lot of songs yeah. and, and, yeah. and lyrics. And, uh, yeah, you we, know, yeah. there was a recent study, John, that said mm -hmm. that those people that are musically inclined mm -hmm. 
had, do so much better on the SAT and ACT tests. Right, yeah. And in, in my daughter visited various colleges. In fact, Carnegie Mellon yeah. said that the engineers and the people they work with yeah. have to take a musical instrument, have right. to take up a right. musical For, instrument. Why right. would that be? Well, they, uh, there, there's a, a study out there on, uh, well, you know, the right hemisphere and left right, hemisphere right, of the brain. Sure. Uh, scientific uh, side is probably what the left side, right mm -hmm. side is the artistic side. Well, if you can get both hemispheres in your uh, brain to, to work together and strengthen both sides, then you have a more of a, a I guess, an advantage over mm -hmm. looking at problem solving, uh, creativity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, thinking outside of the box, as well as thinking inside the box, uh, so yeah. to speak. Right, no question about it. Yeah. So you've covered, right. covered all the areas and really, right. uh, yeah. it's just not uh, rote memorization, but you really have a lot of flexibility and creativity. Mm -hmm. Right, sure, yeah. Anything that fires the neurons right. on, yeah. Right. Right. What about this mm -hmm. building? How, mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, it just historic. you know, I saw an article where this building is over 100 years old. I mean, I know, yeah. th that, ha that has to make you feel like uh, yeah. you're part of history yeah, here in Wadsworth. I, it, we do. We, uh, we, we've always been uh, thrilled with the building here. Um, yeah, outside it says 1924. Uh, it says Woof 1924. And well, who is Woof? You know, what, what, what kind of store was that? Well, it started as a Woof's department store. Okay. And um, we even have, have had Wadsworth. Uh, Oh, I don't know. Uh, residents have come in and said, "I remember coming in as a little girl," or, you know. And I'm <laughs> wow. like, "Really? Do you, any pictures yeah, of it?" You know, because right, sure. you know, we, we we've always been interested in what did this place look like once upon mm -hmm, a time. Mm -hmm. uh, most people uh, remember uh, our our building is uh, Parmalee's. Mm -hmm. And the Parmalee family has been in and right, said, "Yeah, right. we used to be here." You know, and so, I think it was yeah, a, yeah. it was a hobby yeah. store, wasn't it? That's it, exactly a lot, of, it. Yeah. a lot of puzzles and right. games and things like that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's been a, a few different things. It, it, it was a uh, antique store at one time. Uh, it was an art studio mm -hmm, at another time. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, the ones that have had the businesses in the past, uh, we've seen some of the family come in. So we've got kind of put the dots together. You know, connected the dots on what the story is here. So uh, yeah, we I think we've been probably the longest business since mm -hmm. the department store. I, I'm not sure how long Parmalee's was, but it, what I gather is we're, we're probably the longest business right. now here. So, it's a shame. Yeah. Some some yeah. cities have have the downtown areas have have gone by the wayside, yeah. and I think yeah. that's a real shame yeah. uh, because really uh, you can go ahead and get flowers here. Yeah. You can go ahead and, and get some insurance. Right, you can get right. a guitar. You can go ahead and get get yeah. to lunch. Right. I mean. Yeah. It, the diversity of, down, of Wadsworth downtown is yeah. wonderful, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. It, you know, there, you, there's something for everyone down here. And uh, we would like to see more retail come into to downtown. And we've got a lot of offices. Uh, you know, there's mm -hmm. uh, definitely banks and things that people need. But, um, yeah, we would like to see a, a toy store, a bike shop, you know, things like right. that right. in the future. And hopefully somebody will, will take that. Uh, I think people are, uh, are looking uh, forward to working uh, or buying from mom and pop shops uh privately owned shops uh mm -hmm. you get better service generally you do so so, so you hang your hat on service if i uh would yeah. happen to uh mm -hmm. see a guitar here and things would go awry i could bring it in and you sure. would it yeah. wouldn't be overnight but you would go ahead and mm -hmm. and say that hey you're a real customer and we'll we'll take good care of you we, we do whatever we can if, if somebody's uh, a lot of musicians play out in the, the local places around here and if they need an instrument even that day we will we'll do whatever we will move heaven and earth to get that person back out there with their instrument um I'm one guy, uh, right. you know, that's, sure. it's like there's, uh, you know, somebody on every corner for other services, but for a music uh, repair, there's only a few of us out there uh, that are doing it commercially. So, um, you know, it, it, some repairs can take a little while. So uh, yeah. the community yeah. embraces mm -hmm. uh, bands and, and yeah. music. Uh, the, yeah. the library uh -huh. has several yeah. has several right. uh, yeah. uh, venues that they uh, they go ahead and have bands. Yeah. Of course, the school, uh, the community band plays a 4th yeah. of July concert. Yeah. So so really, uh, and churches, of course, uh, really Wadsworth really enjoys good music. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, uh, when, when I was growing up, 
my friends that lived out here, uh, they played uh, in bands, and uh, it was amazing how good the musicianship was out here. When I was a kid, I thought, oh my God, uh, you know, Wadsworth's the rock and roll capital of the world. You know? <laughs> so, uh, you know, Forget Cleveland. You, know, <laughs> you got it, right. So, uh, and that's still the case. There's a lot of musicians out here. We kind of have a little mini Nashville. I, to me, it, seems, it feels right. like that. So, yeah. we, we did a yeah. show recently with Dana Heyer, the band director of oh, Wadsworth yeah. City yeah. Schools, and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. she really does so much and it was just before her spring concert mm -hmm. and, and i think yeah. they had the in the in the high school mm -hmm. they had sections fifth sixth seventh mm -hmm. and eighth right. combined uh -huh. and then all kind of other mm -hmm. other bands i mean right. that that really separates the kids and it makes them feel really good about what they're doing yeah uh, well i'll tell you one thing uh, the, the band director i think has the hardest job and <laughs> and in, in probably in any field that is uh uh, 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 an amazing feat to, to take a kid that's never played an instrument and then right. before long they're oh, here here's a concert here's a here's a we're on the football field marching and uh, they they really uh, amaze me or go to yeah. contests and represent the school you and got it. Wadsworth yeah. always does well I remember oh, yeah. my yeah. daughter hot cr cross buns was uh -huh. one of her favorite and, and okay. it was one of the early right, songs right, she yeah. did so that's and probably the first song played, I ever learned they played <laughs> sax uh, okay. both both girls played saxophone and yeah. did it for four years and enjoyed it and okay. got into other things later but I think right. that I think that helped them again as, as you said mm -hmm. you know think out of the box then they got in speech and debate and theater okay. uh -huh. and and you know I think that opened the door for some other things that they did okay yeah yeah well the interest that the the child has you know it can go anywhere they can get into sports and get excel at that or, or the sciences arts um, but yeah it, it, some kids they, they they have to pick one you know right, eventually right. you got to pick what you're gonna do in life but uh, music's one of those things where you can keep it forever yeah. you, you, there's no sports industry or right. injuries in, uh, in right. playing a guitar or a piano or right. anything you know if you you play football yes yeah, yeah. at some point you might have a, a shortened career on that that but, knee, you knee know, might come back right. to haunt yes right. for sure but it's nice to yeah, you know, the the music's always there. Do, do do some do you see some people coming mm -hmm. in that they played in high school mm -hmm. and they maybe uh, a few years went by and mm -hmm. they want to get back into it? Do you see some of those people All the coming time. in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. T t tell me about uh, yeah. a typical person. Mm -hmm. Uh, generally, that, that story kind of goes like this. I, I've always wanted to play guitar. I, I did when I was a kid, but then I got married, had kids right, right. and so forth, and uh, now I'm retired, and I've got the time. And uh, we, we get people that retire, and they're like, I always wanted to learn the banjo or the guitar. And, uh, and pretty soon, one guy came in here. Uh, he, he started taking guitar lessons the day he retired. And like within probably six months, he's playing Chuck Berry leads and things like that. <laughs> oh boy. I said, yeah. I go, what's going on here? You, you know, you, nothing's getting done at your house, is there? And he goes, oh no, the grass is two feet high. The honey-do yeah. list is a mile long. That, that, <laughs> yeah, well, so. that's okay. Right. He has priorities yeah. and, and yeah. people, right. well, what about uh, COVID? Uh, during right. COVID, mm -hmm. I think people kind of kind of stayed, you know, for the most part yes. within their house. If they didn't have to work, they didn't. Right. And, and I think mm -hmm. that probably helped uh, people picking up hobbies that yeah. they had before or well, as you say learning for the first time right, right. Uh, our our biggest guitar company that we deal with uh, Fender guitars they uh, they have a website where a new player can sign on, start taking online lessons or, or or buy a guitar or anything like that. But what they do is they register you as a brand new player and there's over a million and a half new people that signed on there. And it was just unbelievable. Yeah, that, that, I, I would never, I yeah. never would have guessed it would be that many. I would yeah. have thought maybe a few thousand. Well, now, that, that, that's, right. that just, just amazing. Right, and before we go laughing our way to the bank now, right. you know, as a store that would sell these people right. the, the instruments, um, a lot of people will pick up an instrument. And I think the, the studies that, that I've seen, uh, about nine out of 10 new players will stop. Okay, they'll, they'll okay. quit playing. Doesn't mean they're done forever, right. but they will go back to, I'm going to golf now on my free There's time only a certain level or, that they right. go to. They, they get proficient to right. a degree, right. and, then they, and then they cease playing for right. a while. And if they get re-inspired, yeah, they'll, they'll come back and we'll, we'll get them started back up. But yeah, the, the COVID uh, kind of gave us a, a mixed signal. You okay. know, you know, right. how, how, are, are we going to get these million and a half new players? Are they going to be current, you know, taking lessons and uh, buying new equipment? Um, not really. Uh, it, it's it, it, things adjust back. There, some will stay, some won't. But you know, it, it was it was definitely a nice uh, 
uh, you know, thing at the time where, you know, people can't leave your house, so what are you going to do? Well, right. play a right. guitar, play right. a, sure. you know, Play another well, instrument, right. yeah. yeah. We yeah. talked about Dana Hire a little bit in the Wadsworth Band. Yeah. I understand, yeah. talking to your wife, that you do business with a lot of other schools, too. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, Doylestown and Norton yes, and, yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, Cloverleaf. Cloverleaf right? yeah. T tell us yeah. about those yeah. relationships. What, what would they a lot of would the, they yeah. would they rent instruments from you for maybe the young exactly, middle yes. schoolers? Yeah, um, being a music store. We, we, have, have, we, we have the fire department now down the street. They just built do? the new building. Yes, so they do. I did a show down yeah. there on college. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a, so that's, a big, big unit down right. there, and they get calls all right. the time. Right, I digress. <laughs> right, right, yeah. No, that's okay. Yeah, the, but anyhow, the um, uh, yeah. as far as the other schools, uh, a lot of the band directors uh, would call us up, and uh, you know, the College of Worcester or whatever, wow. and they would say, you know, can you get this or that for us? And uh, they'll send purchase orders, uh, and we'll, we'll help them out. One of the things that we do for the schools is that if a, if a school needs equipment, we we sell it what whatever our cost is we sell it to them at the same cost we don't want to charge our schools we don't we don't want to get wealthy off of our schools we want their business we want you know we're part of the community we live here we want them to to benefit we want the music program to grow mm -hmm. so we do whatever we can to to facilitate that so we, we do help our schools out and uh, the other schools that are uh, you know in the vicinity of wadsworth here uh, we welcome all of them. Yeah, right. and we we've got schools that have been in Columbus that have contacted us, Toledo. So we we service anyone that we can. And they yes. they really yeah. do do a lot of service. They have mm -hmm. uh, you know musicals and plays that they yes. they perform for, and the schools uh, yeah. really benefit, and the students uh, really enjoy uh, the instruments right. very much. Can yeah. you tell us about okay. maybe John? Maybe yeah. we could pick out a couple uh, specific uh, guitars here and sure. talk mm -hmm. a little bit about uh, okay. one or two. Well, we, we've got uh, probably, uh, Leo Fender started the electric guitar. That's on the other side of the room. He started that in the 50s. Um, you know, there were prototypes in the 40s and so forth. Right. But after World War II, guitar really took off. What you see here is the modern version of the guitar. Uh, in the past, there's been lutes and uh, zithers, other instruments that uh, that have evolved into this and the, and the kind of tuning, the kind of music that we play with them. So. What you see on the wall mostly is just your, your regular acoustic guitar. Uh, there are different shapes as far as that goes. There's a smaller sh body shape right here, which would fit maybe a, a younger person or a smaller frame body. Uh, then we have the larger ones in the general. The difference is, is that you get a little more volume out of the bigger body. So if you've ever seen a mariachi band, they usually they have a guitar that's about this big. So yeah, and, yeah. So and what know, about the, the, the uh, uh, those are the... Uh, Oh, these are the amplifiers. amplifiers yeah. Right. So, I've got a brain problem right. there. All the all the guitars uh, that you see here, um, some of them come with a uh, with electronics, and they can be plugged into an amplifier, so you can broadcast it through a, a show somewhere. Um, on other uh, guitars, they're just uh, what you hear is whatever that guitar can do. You, there's no speaker on it. You just. That's what generally, if you're going to start guitar, right. you get one of these and you'd start learning your uh, your chords, your notes. And uh, do you have yeah. classes here, or yes. you said online yeah. is really very popular with some students? Do you have classes yeah. here? Well, yeah, there's there are online store uh, lessons. What we do, uh, we do them privately here. Okay. So if you you want to come in for a lesson, uh, you have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, lesson with the teacher. It's a half an hour long. And uh, we, we find your strengths and we just, you know, the teacher assesses and uh, designs a program that's best for you. And so if, if you're online, the, the biggest difference uh, that, that, you know, if I'm teaching you a guitar, you can see everything I'm doing here and I can see everything you're doing. So I can correct mistakes right there on the spot. Right. If it's online, it's not that easy. No, so, no I, I wouldn't so. think it would be. I think, you know, right. certainly close by, you can, yeah. I would think more progress can be made if you'd go one-on-one. -on -one. And that's with probably anything. Hands-on learning is always the, the best. So, yeah, we, we, we our, uh, our students have learned that. When we were shut down for COVID, we did online lessons during that time, I think through Zooms and, you know, mm -hmm. that sort of software and stuff. And what uh, the the biggest complaint was, I can't see, or the or the or it locks up a little bit on the screen, you know. So it's definitely a, a benefit to be there in, in person. 
So besides the schools and uh, some adults do uh, a lot of maybe uh, in the summer with the, you know, yeah. the school being out, you yeah. have some young people coming in and say, hey, I, I'm, I'm going to college and I'm yeah. looking for a hobby. Uh, yeah. do you, do you we've, we've gotten uh, students that uh, start in the summer and they'll end when school starts. They move back to college or something. Right. And uh, yeah, we've had that. Uh, some people have less time in the summer. So mm -hmm. I've been working at this all through mm -hmm. the school year. It's like that extra class, you know, after school that they'll do and they'll work real hard through up to May at the end of May and then they'll take the summer off mm -hmm. and then but so you know we got people ready to take those spots and one's ready to take a break so <laughs> let's talk yeah. a little finances yeah. for a little the one yeah. you just had that the one maybe the beginner yeah what mm -hmm. what would uh, what would that uh, that cost and do you have yeah. a payment plan or or do I have to go ahead and mm -hmm. uh, go through a bank or something to purchase yeah. maybe maybe this yeah. one right here that yeah. you had or, well or what uh, about this next one that yeah. looks like a kind of a yeah these guitars here uh, these are a fairly new design for Fender um, they're uh, called the Acoustasonics and what they are is they give you the benefit of playing an electric and electrics and easier oh. it's going to think of power steering power brakes in a right, car right, as right. opposed to not having it these are easier to play and uh yet still sounding like the the acoustics okay. so they that we're trying to bridge the two together give you the benefits of, of both and the cost what what would what would this okay. So this one right this here, is, this is a uh, this is two thousand okay. dollars for this one. Uh, this uh, you know some of our beginner guitars are one ninety nine for a full size guitar. The um, uh, one hundred ninety nine dollars. Yes. Oh yeah. wow. Okay. So, so it varies. It, yeah, you it's can, quite yeah. quite a uh, difference in price. Oh, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can get into a guitar fairly reasonable as far as uh, you know if you wanted to start playing. It's very affordable. There's yeah, a lot of people come in and say, hey, I, do you have any used instruments? In the old days when I started, mm -hmm. we got, well, you get a used guitar, you take some lessons. Well, now you can buy a brand new guitar very affordably. Uh, it might even be less than what mm -hmm. a, you know, somebody's used guitar is. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, so some yeah. of the students then, you rent the instrument for the students like a fifth grader. My yeah. daughter, again, played sax. Mm -hmm. they, they had it for four years and then they turned it in. What, okay. what would happen to that instrument then? Uh, once you turn your instrument in, yeah. Okay, we uh, we send it out to uh, our our service center for uh, band instruments. They'll take it and they do an ultrasonic cleaning, right. uh, it basically refurbish it. And then mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes with the saxophone woodwinds, they need repadded and recorked. But we get the instrument back up and running, cleaned up, you know, as brand new as it possibly can be. And then if somebody wants to buy it or rent it, it's it's available. Um, our, our rental program, uh, we, we are an affiliate of Sweetwater, and Sweetwater is a company, it's just right on the border of Ohio and Indiana. They, uh, they're a little bit more unique about their rental program. If you, um, if you rent, everything's a rent to own, so you, you're, you're paying on it as soon as you get it. So back to, you know, do I make payments on it? Well, band instruments, uh, as far as a saxophone, that can be a $1,600 purchase mm -hmm, right mm -hmm, off the bat. Mm -hmm. So. We do it in, in, in payments like that. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's really, mm -hmm. again, parents know up front what, mm -hmm. what the cost is, and mm -hmm. you know, they may have it for several years. I mean, exactly. they, may, right. yeah. they may take that instrument. Do you see a lot of students start yeah. with uh, mm -hmm. maybe the sax and get into uh, mm -hmm. French horn or trumpet? Do, the, do students change a well, lot? Well, yeah, uh, sometimes the band directors, uh, they, they recommend that the student moves from, uh, say, the trombone over to trumpet or, you know, or vice versa. So, Just yeah, because right. the need might be in that section that they sure. had graduates right. or yeah. something like that, well, yeah, they may need a few more. Kids will start band up, and everyone wants to play drums that year, or everyone wants to play saxophone. You know, it, it, it's kind of you know whatever they they got to balance out the band, and and so they they might you know you might end up playing a couple different instruments before you find the one you want to be on. Do you sell drums here? Yeah, we. <laughs> Drums are uh, um, mostly in the uh, combo uh, that the schools use. That's right. what we do. Um, it, it, it drum full drum sets. Uh, we do a little bit of. A, it, we'll have some on hand, but we're not m known as a drum store. Right. So right. more of a guitar store. Yeah. But but you yeah. might again yeah. rent those uh, uh, mm -hmm. those other French horns and and yes. trumpets sure. and other things to the schools. Right. Sure. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, what uh, do you do? You ever have an opportunity to go hear a concert uh, oh, at yeah. Wadsworth or High? What, what do you think? Do you uh, it, can, yeah. uh, the more students practice, yeah, oh, the better yeah. they get, right? And yeah, practice till you can't mess it up <laughs> is what I say. <laughs> Don't practice till perfect. Practice till you cannot mess it up. So, and, yeah. and what's unique yeah. about the band is yeah. that the di different sections come together. It's just not you, yeah, right. it, it's again, the drums, it's uh, the that, clarinet. It's that's, the that's where the brilliance of the band director comes in. They know how to put these layers all together and make it, take chaos and put order in there. <laughs> so, yeah. John O'Leary, I've okay. learned a lot yeah. today and, and yeah. this is the first time in years I've been in this, uh, your yeah. facility and well, for, very you. historic yeah. Yeah. and uh, you know, you really have spaced things out very well and yeah. a lot of opportunity for, for yeah. parents and grandparents, as you say, yes. it yeah. doesn't yeah. matter how old you are, you can still pick up a hobby yeah. and you don't yeah. have to uh, run around the block. You can do yeah. it sitting yeah. and, and get better and better the more you do it. Right, you got it. Thank you very much for viewing Bruce on the Loose, and we really enjoyed doing uh, Sharon Ray with a show. In fact, she gave me a thank you note, and I was really surprised by Sharon doing that, and maybe that's why she's a representative in Columbus. So thanks for viewing Bruce on the Loose. We'll see you next week. watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.